Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending October 29th and also the Halloween edition. So what I'm going to talk about on this report is technology, meaning software, hardware, gadgets that are either dying with one foot in the grave, dead and buried, or are trying to claw their way out of the grave. First I'm going to give you my two picks. Number one, Hewlett Packard. They started out about 12 months ago talking about totally getting out of the computer business and then after that they changed to talk of actually spinning it off to a separate company and now with their new executive director in charge and let me get the name here it's a pretty well known name this is Meg Whitman probably known to, some, to quite a few people under Meg Whitman now the decision is to possibly uh, bring back the computer division as being part of Hewlett Packard itself so I would call that the computer clawing its way out of the grave number two I would call this one foot in the grave as far as operating systems by all surveys I've seen it seems that Windows XP one of my favorite operating system and one I still use is finally and almost all parameters I have seen in surveys dropped below the 50 percent point. One uh, survey that I just read lately said 48 percent of people that own PCs use the XP operating system so it is sliding down so I'm definitely going to call it one foot in the grave. They do have uh, support channels that they say are going to stay open until about 2013 but yeah I'm thinking even my favorite operating system will be uh, going the way of the dinosaur pretty soon. These next ones I get from a website called CIO.com and that is their idea of the tech industry graveyard and first up this is uh, actually on their list this is number three but I'm going to do them and uh, I'm going to just going to do several of them that I thought were pretty significant. The Cisco flip video camera they basically announced quite a while ago that they were going to do away with it and the sad part is they're not even going to let anybody else have the rights to be able to produce it or spin it off they're just basically going to kill it so I'm going to call that one dead and buried and it's rather sad because that was pretty much the beginning of that style of cameras and many other cameras that have uh, been predecessors to that camera um, and uh, have followed after it have pretty much set the pace and it was the one that started it all so that is kind of sad to see that come to an end next up Google Labs now I don't really do a lot of stuff with um, testing hardware or do about beta, beta testing and stuff like that but a few of the Google Labs um, things that they've come out with um, I really enjoyed them especially some of the ones to do with uh, Google Maps and things like that so that's kind of sad that Google Labs is going to kill that one off so we're going to call that one dead and buried and number five Microsoft Zune. I think a lot of people have seen that coming. It just did not sell enough units. It was, uh, according to a lot of people, a pretty decent advice, but they just came to the party a little bit too late. So I would have to call them dead and buried, too. I think Apple just had so much of a leg up and just had such a, a head start with the user base and support and accessories that it was just too late for Zune. So Zune is pretty much dead and gone. And number six, this is a particular one to me that uh, kind of hits me the wrong way. It's Activision Guitar Hero. It's going to be killed off permanently to dead and gone. And the reason they say is they're pulling the plug because they can't really make a good enough profit margin on it anymore, even though it's set records for profits in games in the past. And uh, they won't say it directly, but in my mind, the reason behind this, you can spell it with four letters, R-I-A-A. I'm sure the licensing fees, once they figured out it was a really nice cash cow, they just jacked up the licensing fees so high to where there was no profit left to be made. So for some reason, the Recording Industry Association of America loves to, to kill off the goose that laid the golden egg. In other words, kill it off, cut it open, see if you can get more eggs, and you end up with nothing. I don't know. They probably will never learn their lesson because they never have. So anyway, what I would like for this Halloween is down below in the comments, Give me your ideas of technology, gadgets, hardware, software that you believe is either dead, one foot in the grave, or trying to struggle to claw its way out of the grave and may stick around a little while longer. 
Take care, everybody. Have a very happy Halloween, and I will catch you next week.